Hi, I'm Liz Narden. I'm an SCB teacher at Gaithersburg High School. I've been here for eight years and been teaching in MCPS for nine. Hi, I'm Munchalea Cohen. I'm an SCB teacher at Gaithersburg High School. This is my fifth year here and my seventh year teaching. Hi, I'm Katherine Nemeth. I'm an SCB teacher at Gaithersburg High School. This is my fourth year teaching here and I have been teaching for 12 years. In the spring of 2015, 15, 16, 16, 16, 16, spring of 2016, Liz and I had sat down after school one day and we were just trying to brainstorm like, what can we do that would be different? What can we do that would just like be a lot more meaningful? So we had like this long list and we kind of came on this idea of like salads and we thought, okay. And so we started to flush the whole thing and we were like looking up like prices, like how much would lettuce cost and how much would this cost and you know, would people buy it? And we started to like really like and gravitate toward that idea. So then over the summer we really started to plan it out. Our salad business was born. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean it was just we both liked salads and we knew a food product would be good because people would use it and then want it again, as opposed to like a bath bomb which might sit in your bathroom for six months before you use it. So it's a good product, I think. It, people always want healthy options. A lot of schools they sell, um, you know, coffee shop and donuts and bagels and all these kind of unhealthy things. So we wanted to do something different, something healthy that the teachers would enjoy and that the kids would really love to make each week. So I think it was been a really good business so far. It took off, and now all four classrooms have different jobs that we're doing throughout the salad company. It's great. It's amazing. On the school level, we had to get permission from. Our people here. So we first spoke with our Ritzy, which is our resource teacher over special ed, um, and she was like, okay. And then, you know, we spoke to our principal, got her on board. Then Liz is really good. She called the... Um, so I called the health department to kind of figure out, like, health code-wise what we needed, and we, um, we kind of followed the serve safe curriculum, which is what people who work in restaurants and things, you know, any kind of food service, they use that same curriculum. So our students are seeing the same pictures, we're using the same kind of lingo, going through the same steps, like how we wash our dishes with the three bins, and that's exactly what they do in a restaurant. So that way, um, long term, if our kids go into some kind of food service um, program, they would they kind of know already, have some kind of background. Um, so we did that. We took our students to Kava restaurant, and they gave us a behind, like, the kitchen tour. And then we learned about like where we can order certain things because everything that we have at our Green Fork Salad Company is also very green. We buy like environment, environmentally friendly salad bowls and forks and all that good stuff. Um, so we kind of found out about the whole ordering thing and um, yeah, we, we, we definitely did our research kind of, you know. And we also went to one of the adult agencies that had this, um, That's a Wrap, which is a, it's a kind of a sort of a salad and sandwich shop near Quince Orchard High School and it's all run by students with special needs too. So we went to see them and we found and Sunflower. Yeah, and Sunflower Bakery also, which is another bakery run by kids with special needs. I've become much more involved in the salad company um, this year. Last year I was doing soups and sandwiches, um, but this year I'm full blown into salads with Miss Narden. The, the different skill sets that I'm seeing um, from each individual student um, is way far and above my expectations. Uh, because um, it includes skills of socializing um, with the staff who come in to buy the salads, um, you know, interacting with your peers um, as a, a group, you know, team mentality to get this task completed. You guys came up with the um, the cutting, different choppers and things yeah, like that. The I chopper mean, that was also reaching out to the other like the other salad business, like, hey, we have kids who are not safe around knives. What can we use? And then they showed us some of the tools that they use. So it was great to find some new tools, especially when kids are not super sanitary, um, things where they just have to push down on a button or something like that. It, it just, it allows all the kids to participate in their own way, which has been really great. So when you have our own business, every year we look at the kids we have and what skills they have, and then we kind of gear our business towards the kids. So like this year, we have a lot of kids who know how to type. So that was a, a task that we used to do as staff members, and now we give it to the kids because we let them go with that and that's their way to participate. And those kids, unfortunately, they're not sanitary so they can't do any of the food side of things. So we kind of tailor our business every year to the kids that we have. And, mm -hmm. and I think that's been the best part of our salad business for sure. Yeah, and even one of the things that was, I think, really cool that we started doing, um, because before, especially when we were doing these work boxes just again and again and again, and I think it was given out like, okay, like, you know, you like this one, here's this one, you can do this one again and again and again. Um, we started doing a skills assessment 
So usually toward the end of the year, um, like right now it's it's April, so probably come closer to May, June, mm -hmm. we set up like one room with just a table with gloves. And then the next table has, you know, um, a knife and some putty and the next table and kind of going around and, you know, what do you do with recycling and things like that. So um, different, we can kind of go through and say, okay, like this kid was able to put gloves on, totally independent. This kid, you know, I think we can get there. This kid, like refused, wouldn't touch it, doesn't want the gloves, you know, and it kind of goes down the line. So we can say like, okay, this kid is definitely, if we're going to get them food safe, we need to start somewhere else. It's great, every day is different. <laughs> so we'll start at the end of the week okay. with part of the job, and then we'll circle back to it. Okay. You're laughing at me because I'm... It works, it makes sense. Okay, so on Thursdays, we're gonna start with Thursdays. Um, I have a student who works on typing up the link, so we make sure we've already decided, you know, what soup, salad, sandwich, cookies, whatever it is that we're selling that week, we put it into our link. It's just a Google form, um, and he's pretty familiar with it now, and so he types that into the computer. Usually around lunchtime, he's done, and the link is usually live for a couple days, so usually till about Monday, 9.30? 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, 9 o'clock, we, we shut the link off, so that way it's like, okay, no more orders. Mm -hmm. And um, then we can finalize our grocery list, so now we know, okay, well we've got 20 salads this week, and so that means we need two boxes of tomatoes, mm -hmm. um, and whatever it is. Well, and the grocery lists too are catered towards the kids so that we can give them out and the kids can be able to shop through Trader Joe's. So if we need them to buy two pints of cherry tomatoes, then we find the actual image on Google Images of the Trader Joe's cherry images, uh, or cherry tomatoes. And then, and so they can actually look at it at the store. So um, it's not just a written, I mean, it could be a written list, but most of our kids need visuals. So the visuals go a long way with them. So Tuesdays, all the students will chop up all the ingredients, and just like a real restaurant, everything is in its own separate container. Um, because Wednesday is kind of like assembly line style, we have like picture directions, and the kids know if there's an X on the picture of the carrots, that means oh, no carrots, pass it to the next person. And they're all pretty independent now with looking at the picture and, and doing their scoop um, on Wednesdays. And uh, the other thing is, is that it carries right along with what we do in math class. Um, because in math we're identifying uh, the different measuring cups and actually it's a very difficult task for the kids to have a full scoop of the ingredient and so every week we need a half cup of chicken that's been cut up and so we're still working on that of really getting that half cup in there so it's it comes full circle of okay we worked on this in math now let's implement it in the you know actual job site. Um, and for the, the cutting on Tuesdays, um, that's when we use the, the chopper and the... That's when we use pretty much all the kitchen tools. Right, right. My group does the sometimes soups, sometimes sandwiches. We also do like the lemonades, some of the smaller pieces. And um, I wanted my guys to have the measurement piece as well. Um, with the, we used to do dressings and for classes we're doing dressing. So I was like, okay, what else can we do? So we tried granola, nobody was buying granola. So again, a lot of times it's a trial and error. Um, but then we started, I have a cookie recipe that just happens to be like, just the best It's amazing. Ever. Fantastic. No, it's the best. <laughs> um, so we just, we make this cookie recipe and it's been really cool. Um, just my, you know, my kids have, you know, working on the, both the dry and the wet measurement and all of that with, um, you know, I have even behind me like, you know, probably saw Ooh, like visuals. clips, but and visuals, <laughs> yes. And so the kids can um, place the measuring cups in the right spot and then, okay, now we need the, now we need the one cup. So you know, the kid have to like look and match, okay, well, here's my one cup spot, here's my one cup, and they lift it up, and then, okay, one person will come up and help measure it out. Wednesday morning, usually, my math class will sit down and we'll look at it and say, okay, so a salad is $5, and, you know, cookies are $1, and, you know, 
the delivery is an extra dollar. And so we, you know, we'll piece that out onto a number line. So I have another thing, you know. And Wednesday is also the day where all the customers come and pick up their salads. So at lunchtime, so the students work through their lunch period and they have a late lunch. So for them, some of them, it's really hard, mm -hmm. at, at least at the beginning to, cause you know, the stomachs are grumble, grumbling and they're hungry, but you know, sometimes on a job, that's what you have to do. So, um, so they prep the whole room, they greet the customer, you know, some students are greeting, some people are handing out the forks, some are with me delivering. So those kids are learning how to use a key to get up and down the elevator, to push the buttons, find the right rooms. Um, so there's tons of skills involved throughout the whole week with our salad business. Hi. I guess I would like other schools um, and teachers to know that this is something that's really doable and it is really, really worthwhile. There's a ton of pre-planning and trying to think things through and you know hopefully finding like really nice colleagues that will work with you and do it but even if there's a solo teacher out there who might want to try this I would definitely encourage them to try it because it's it's definitely a big difference than just doing the work boxes and the same task over and over when you get the kids something real to do their hearts are in it you as a teacher your heart is in it the school really gets connected and then you know it's a really successful um, successful thing.